Hello there folks, it is TIJ Gaming and welcome back to our Rookie to Champion journey on World Snooker Championship 2004 on the PS2. I did have a comment last time asking if this is on the, an emulator or on the console. I can confirm it's the bread and butter original game on the PS2. But welcome back folks to our adventure today. We are playing in the round of 16, not the quarterfinal, what, what would it be called? No, it's just the round of 16, no more technical name than that against Marco Marzotti. Now, I've consulted my good friend, Captain Goodspeed, who does fantastic snooker content, currently covering World Snooker Championship 2009. And I think it's fair to say that he probably knows every single player that's played snooker since the 90s, and he has confirmed to me that I don't think any of the players in this tournament now are real players. So we're not going to have the awkward situation like the last tournament where we were put against Darren Morgan, who's 100 places above us in the rankings in the quarterfinal. But the other question that you might be asking is how come this is set on a Thursday? This is usually only out on a Tuesday and a Saturday. Well, we've had a bit of a a bit of a schedule change. We're going to have the Saturday episode on a Sunday. The Tuesday episode will still be here. And this is a little reward for you guys. Just to say thank you for this being the most viewed uh, series on the channel. I had a bit of an analytical review the other day. Um, looking at all my content to see what was doing best. And this is the best performing series. So I thought I'd reward you guys with another video a week. So this is going to be coming out on a Thursday. But we are going to move the Saturday slot to a Sunday. So we're going to have videos on Tuesdays, Thursdays and Sundays. All at 6pm uh, British time for you guys to indulge in. And all I can really ask of you guys is to keep doing the same. Keep watching, keep liking, keep interacting. Which is exactly what you're doing going down in the comments. And you should know that I really, really, really appreciate it at all, as always. And as this is the most viewed uh, series on the channel, I don't want to let that slip. It'd be brilliant um, to even grow the series rather than uh, stay where we are. But Marco Marzotti's took the break. Unfortunately, I forgot to skip the AI shot, uh, turn that off even. Uh, but I think that I, I was saying the other day when I recorded the last episode, I think we've had a bit of an epiphany, to be honest, with, uh, with this game. We, we, I think we played a lot better in the last episode than we did previously. And, as I say, I think we've had a bit of an epiphany with it. And not to be hitting shots so hard. Not to be playing stupid, crazy shots. And I think we played very well in that last episode against David York. And that was bearing in mind we were 3-2 down. So, we're in a little bit of a compromised position already. But I think what I've learned is to just let the opposition player play the risky shots. You know, we do like an odd, an odd risky shot, and, that, and that's fine to play sometimes. But I think more than anything, we need to let the opponents play the risky shots. And we're always going to make mistakes. We're, we're quite new to, to snooker as uh, a fan. Uh, for me, I've only been watching snooker for maybe a year. Now, I got into it last year at the World Championships, so I haven't got the experience of the, these guys that have watched it for years and years. But So what I'm trying to say is that, yeah, of course, there's going to be the odd mistake. We're going to lose the odd frame. But... It would be a boring series if we got one four sevens every time. I can understand it's equally a boring series. You can only get five or ten breaks every match. But I think we're progressing. I think we are definitely progressing. And we've had that little bit of an epiphany. So hopefully we can back that up with uh, some good snooker today. But it looks like Marsotti's had a good start to the game. We did leave a red on for him when we get up, got back up to the ball. But it was a good shot nonetheless. And uh, he's going to take a lead with... Ooh, what could have been a 13 break. But he's missed... The, uh, he's missed the brown, albeit he was in good position for the next red. Right, that red goes fine, so that's the one we'll hit. Play a bit of screw back on this just to get make sure we get it back. Bear in mind the black's been knocked off its spot, which isn't too brilliant, but this should go in fine. I think we've we've looked at enough for it to go in. There we go, right in the heart of the pocket. Now what do we go for here? As John said, the screw really helped. Right. Uh, the pink does go, I think, into the middle. Is it too much of a risk? I'm not particularly sure. This does go. Hmm. The pink certainly goes, and it gives us good position on a red. And to be honest, I think the black's a bit dubious in terms of the angle. In fact, is it? Hmm. In fact, no, it's not really, is it? No. We don't want to get that far down. Again, I think I'm, I'm not too confident with these angles, but I think we're okay. Put a little bit of screw back once again. Just get a little bit further down the table. But this should be another seven points. I'm not too confident with these sort of shots. But it has gone in right in the heart of the pocket. Not the best position. But there might well be something on here. The black goes into the blue spot purely because that's been taken by um, a red down the other end of the table. Now this is a tricky shot. 
but it's uh, still a shot that can be made into this pocket. Be brilliant if we could. Nice shot. Nine. Now we've got position on that black once again. But the green's probably the easier shot. But do we play the black? Right, is this going straight? Because there's no point going for the tricky black if we can't pot it. Uh, for me, that's going. But it is very tricky to tell sometimes if it's going straight. I think that goes in. Be a shame if it doesn't, because it's quite a good opportunity for another seven points. Yep, good stuff. It's dropped. Not the best position on a red, admittedly. Once again, the black back in the blue spot. No, there isn't. I think a safety shot might be what uh, we need here. Hit this as thin as possible. And get it back up the table. Quite nice from our end that the Reds haven't developed much. This doesn't leave Marco much to play with coming up to this next shot. And we've lined it up just behind the black brilliantly. And because all the Reds are in the middle of the table, it makes a potting angle very tricky. Equally, though, he can have a good safety shot here. He can play a similar shot to what we've played and get a good safety. And that, to be fair, is what he's done. Has he snookered us here? Ooh, just... A, well, he's just... Well, he's got... Very unlucky, because if it had gone a little bit more to the right, he would have snookered us. We can just get the edge of this uh, edge red on the edge red on the cluster, and hopefully be safe. Yeah, that's fine. Where's the cue ball going? A little bit too hard, that was. But I don't think we leave anything on still. So a bit of luck coming into this. Bit of a safety battle, though. This is nice. Is he going to go for a, for a pot here? He's hit it straight into the pack. I don't know what he's tried to do there. But has he got lucky? I think he might have done, you know. I think he's got lucky. He has as well. Unbelievable. Hmm. That's a shame. He's got lucky. Well, I think we we risk open up this pack. But I think to avoid him getting a pot, we've kind of got to. Because if we hit one of the reds that's on that not in that cluster of reds, there's a danger it gets eerily close to a pocket. And that's a pretty good shot. Even though there is a red that's on. It's a long pot. But he can pot it, and yeah, it looks a lot easier from here. And I think we have left that red on. It was a mistake, but it was a good safety battle, to be honest. One that Marco clearly won in the end, but... Oh, well. That's a good start. Another seven points, but these players that aren't real don't have too good positional knowledge. So, we can sit tight and easy in the fact that I don't think he's going to make a 50 break here. In fact, he's not even going to make a, a 10 break. But once again, he's got very lucky in that he's pretty much safe. We could go for a risky pot there. It's probably our best chance. I think it might be worth going for it here. Softly is the way to go. Nothing too hard. And it'd be brilliant, wouldn't it, if it just uh, went in and gave us good position on this black. But it's going to be a tricky pot. It's all about margins. If it hits both the jaws, we're not going to get it in. Let's have a look. Oh, nice. It's dropped. And is that position on the black? It's going to be tricky to get now. Does the black... No, the black doesn't go. That's unfortunate. Does the pink go into the middle? Again, it's very tight, isn't it? Blimey. But I think it does. I think it's our best chance as well, so it's not a risky pot necessarily. It's going to be tight, this is. But if it goes in, we look very good. It's a tight pot and it hasn't dropped, but we've kept the cue ball fairly safe. I think that was just very difficult, to be honest. It was difficult to judge. We can get away with missing some of those shots. Another safety battle, I think, will ensue here. Honestly, I don't think this frame's really got going yet. And uh, I don't think it still will now. Just tap this red, bring it back up the table. Again, apologies, I did say this in yesterday's video. It seems this weekend is incredibly blustery. So, uh, oh, that's unfortunate. It's just bounced off the, the middle pocket. It's very blustery, so if there's any background noise, I apologise for that. But I think we're safe. I think a bit of luck's involved here. Well, he's tried the long pot. Fair play to him. But once again, he's fairly safe, unless we want to try a risky pot. There are plenty of reds to choose on, I agree. Does this go... This is a nasty shot, isn't it? 
Let's try it. I don't like these sort of pots. But we'll give it a good go. That'll do. Brill, it's dropped. Position's not great, though. Have we got position, though? Yes, we have on the black. Well, bit of a bit of luck there. The problem is, look at all these reds here now. I'm more focused on the pot, though, than the position. We've got the pot. Nice pot on the black and to be fair, I think we've got position on this red that we're pretty much adjacent with. It's going to be a tight one. But, yeah, we'll have that. We certainly will. Nothing too hard. It's going to be hard to get back on the black now. Purely because of how many reds we've got in this in this pack. But there we go. That's another another point. Pink will give us another six. Why would we take the green? Unless there's something that we shouldn't be doing with the pink. That should go. In my eyes. It's a tight pot. But it should go. Maybe a bit too hard. Who knows. There we go. It's dropped. Lovely. Right, now, our best option is to play this red across the cushion, which is going to be tricky, but sometimes these pots do drop, and on this occasion it has just about, very lucky, does the blue go in this case, it's going to be very tricky with whatever we have now um, to get a position on a, on a red, so... We might as well take these points, take the lead, and then, as we said earlier, let Marco take the uh, the risky, aggressive shots. There's certainly a way for, there's there's a way through for another shot, but I'm not confident, honestly. And I think if we're not confident, there's no point playing it. So hopefully, the power we've put into this shot taps this ball, and then we should get back up to the uh, the Q cushion, which we've done pretty well there, to be honest. Playing a lot better, I think, than we have done. Although it's been a big safety battle this this frame. It's took it's uh, been a bit of a nasty one, in all truth. And both players haven't played too badly. And in fact, the frame is far from over just yet. Where's the cue ball going? Where's the cue ball going? Oh, that's unfortunate. That's our first big mistake we've made. Well, that's a shame. Now, they forced us to continue as Marco. Now, can we move? Yeah, we can move the cue ball across the bulk line. It's just because we have to take the risky shots. I completely understand why he's done it. It's not touching the yellow, is it? I don't think it is, no. That's okay, then. Oh, about to say, I hope he didn't go in off. A little bit hard there, but... Once again, if he's going to profit here, he's going to have to play a long pot. It's going to rely on a mistake from one of these players. And that's a big mistake. Well, not a big mistake, but it's certainly a mistake there from Marco Marzotti. Gives us a potting angle, potentially. And we're going to go for it. I know that seems silly. But sometimes these shots do drop. Although, if he doesn't, we could be losing the frame. No, it hasn't dropped, so that's unfortunate. There's a few reds that are on now. And he'll definitely pot this one. Just depends, really, this will just depend on how long Marco can go now. How big of a break he can get. Again, I acknowledge it was a stupid shot. But was there a safety shot to be played there? I'm not particularly sure. Ten points behind now. I think he'll get that gap back. There's a few more reds he can pot here. Pink looks good again, or even the blue. Oh, he's missed the pink. Well, what did I say? We've got lucky, but, you know, it, as I say, he's not that good, so a bit of screw. And it's probably a bit too much screw, but nonetheless. Another point here. Yeah, that's way too much screw, but luckily we're nicely on the blue. Bit of luck there went, wouldn't go in this. Right, let's try and end up uh, somewhere where we end up fairly decent. But a 15-point cushion we'll have now with this blue, which we have potted. Now, is there a way through in this red that's very near to the black? I think there is. Bit of luck there, wasn't it? 
Mm, certainly was. Now that should go in fine. That's a pot. Lovely. Now the pink should go from here. It's going to be a bit of a tricky one, but it'll go. It certainly will. Another six points. Cue ball won't end up with a good position, but it gives that cushion of 22 Shot points. Pink. At least we haven't snookered ourselves. And I think we'll just play it up and down the table. And uh, let Marco play the tricky shots. But we are... We, we're close, I think, to winning this frame. And that's a pretty good safety. Pretty much ended up where we wanted to be exactly and where we were before. So let him play the stupid shot. Looks like he's going with a fairly similar idea to us, although he's hit a lot more thick than we have. And is there a way through? Ooh... Oh, that's unbelievable. Oh, and he snookered us on this red. Well, he's got very lucky here. There could have been a pot on here, but because the green's there. Oh, that's unbelievable. Well, well. <sighs> Nestle it up behind this red, I think, is the best bet. But make sure it's on the wrong side so that you can't pot it. But uh, it's going to be tricky here. I can't see a better. I can't see a, an efficient way out. That'll do. That should be okay. He's not going to pot this, surely. He's not going to pot the Q. Oh, that was very close. No way. He's not going to pot that red. No, he's not. That's okay. Well, that's let us in now. Jolly good. Right, make sure we do pot this. Or else we look like a bit of a fool. Once again, we just let the, the other player take the stupid shots, and it's working. To be well today. Now, I fancy the pink into the middle, to be fair. It's not often you hear me say I fancy something into the middle, but today is that day. Play with some screw, make sure it doesn't end up in this pocket, however. And uh, with the red, we should take... The oh! oh, dear, just too hard. Oh, look at that. It is basically in the pocket. And he's going to pop the red. The red's dropped. Well, well. We could have had the frame, but Marco in a bit of a twist here. It's been a particularly long frame, and he's back in it. And to be fair, it's been a tight frame throughout. Not great positional shot on the yellow, I have to say. But with 27 remaining... I think the black, the blue, and the uh, the pink will go fine. But let's just nestle it up behind the yellow here and see what he can do with it. We only need the uh, yellow and the green. I think he might try for a snooker here. But it wasn't worth risking it. I don't quite know what he's played there. He's basically ended up in the, in the position that uh, he was in before. So... I think we go for the pot here. Because I think there is a risk of him snookering us. And even if he does get the pot, if we miss it, that's a brilliant pot. Fantastic. I was about to say, even if we got the pot and uh, he missed it, well, we're not going to pot the green. We just want to give it a little nudge onto the brown, hopefully. Perfect. It's not nestling right on the brown, but it'll certainly do. Is he just going to give this a whack here and hope for the best? Yeah, that's about right. Hasn't snookered us. That's unfortunate for him. Play as thin as possible, so it might go in this pocket. Don't want to play of any side. I'm not interested in that. And if it doesn't go in, hopefully it comes back down the table. But if it does, it's a it's a win-win. There you go. Brilliant. Fantastic. That's the pot. That'll make the frame safe. That lead means the frame is now safe. I don't think we can get a position where we can pot the uh, brown. Two miles just try and whack this. Not whack it, but hit it decently hard. But a good first frame in this round of 16 match. There we go. He's not going to get the pot from here, is he, surely? Although he's going to keep going. I don't blame him. He lines it up behind it. We might as well go for the pot here. We haven't got anything to lose. We certainly won't concede a foul.
which dropped. Blue's pretty much nailed on here into either pocket. Right, so it was four bars that worked before, although, mm, is it dead? Yeah, okay, that should be fine. Play a bit of screw back, or a bit of bottom at least. Go on, go on, go on. Oh, it's just wide. That well, that didn't matter on that occasion. It's all practice. And, oh, he's still going. Fair play to him. I suppose the blue and the pink are quite easy. So, well, he's missed that. What can I say? It's not the easiest pot, mind. I mean, we, we take the mick out of him missing it, but it's not the easiest pot by any means. And uh, neither is this. But the pressure's off a little bit now, you know, if we miss this, which we haven't, we've potted it very well. Uh, the pressure was very much off, but trying to make sure we uh, hit this pink quite lightly. We don't want it to go in the pocket following the pink. And it hasn't. Jolly good. Another six points. And with another seven, which we should get here by potting the black nice and soft. It makes our lead in that frame look very, very convincing. Brilliant stuff. Good first frame. Thanks, John. That wasn't obvious at all. <laughs> right, start the break off then. The 15 reds back on the table again. Let's go for it. It's our break this time. We're one up. It'd be brilliant if we can go two up here. Might only have time today for two frames, just because the first one was so long. Not the best break in the world. There's a red on here. Mediocre to say the least. But he's bashed it and uh, he's not come out very well. But it's it, there's not a pot on here, so we're going to have to do this as thin as possible. I mean, I'd be yeah, alright, John, okay. Yeah, that's about as safe we can get it, really. It might break up the reds a little bit, but <sighs> there's not a hell of a lot we can do. I mean, he has separated them, but... Ooh, very close to the pocket, but it's good to be back in the ball carry. He's got to risk a long pot here if he wants to get on the points. On the board. No safety play from Marco as well, although that's a little bit less safe. And there's a nice pot into this pot corner, here. which I think we'll go for. Play with some screw back. Get it back up the table. Although we could have gone for the black, but I, I'm not particularly sure. Perfect. Very That'll go. That is a tremendous shot. Cheers, John. Now does the blue go into the mid? Uh, the blue certainly goes, doesn't it? Yeah. Get some screw back. Good start for us here. Just got to look on developing the reds now. And hopefully this frame will be a little bit shorter than the last. Six. Nice red on in the... Uh, I think that was the one that we separated earlier, actually. Luckily, just short of the, of the, uh, of the blue here. spot. Have a look, see if that goes in. Yeah, that should be okay. Seven points to good if this goes. It should drop, I think. Should be fine. There we go. Nice and forceful. Back on the blue again. This looks good again. I do like these blue pots. Give it a good whack. And then back down the table. There you go. It's 12. Sunk the blue. Now, is there a red that goes here? The one past the pink doesn't, unfortunately, I don't think. Might be wrong. Ooh! Ooh, well, it does, actually. It goes a lot easier than I thought it would. That's nice. Maybe power's not something to consider here. We might just have to play ourselves out of a tricky shot next time. But I want to make sure we get the pot. Rather than him getting an easy pot when it bounces off the jaws. But we've got very lucky to get past this pink. And there you go, it's in the pocket. Although it is a tricky pot that comes up now on any of this. I think safety play might be the consideration here. Right, back up the table then. Good start to the frame though. We've cleaned up a little bit here. Oh, that was lucky. Very lucky that it uh, ended up behind the green. It's going to be quite an escape, this is. 
as he eats a red. He will on the bottom cushion by virtue, but I don't think that was the red he was going for originally. And I think he's safe. Lucky muck. Yeah, I think he's safe. I mean, so, certainly nothing I could pot here. No, none of these reds go, do they? Because they all intercept one another. Possibly the red into the middle. I don't fancy it, though. Maybe into the, into the top pocket. Again, yeah, it's going to be tricky. Nice and hard here. Again, doesn't make sh make sense much sense for the pot, but for position, it certainly does. Ooh, that was that was a bit closer than we thought it was, and we have given him position admittedly now on a red. But once again, we haven't got to worry about that so much. I mean, he's missed that by an absolute red by mile. The red by the black. That's what uh, Dennis thinks, and he's about right. You're right there, Dennis. Another point to the break. Uh, the, well, not to the break, but to the frame. If we can pop this. A little bit hard. But it'll do. I suppose there's no route through to the pink, is there? No. Blue will do then, once again. We might be looking for taking the blue for position here. Well, John is just... John just reads my mind. Good pot. Nicely on the red now. Well, the red near the pink spot looks good from here. Red near the pink spot, yeah. Get a bit of screw again. Not so much this time, but still get a good amount of screw. We can use the power because we're fairly sure they're in the middle of the pocket. That'll do. Although I do, I do prefer the blue into the top pocket. It's trickier to see into the middle. Well, I'll say that's fairly okay. If it's not, that's just unfortunate. Oh, well. Yeah, it was a poor shot. Agreed. It's very, very tricky to get there into the middle, particularly with the angle we have to look at. He's uh, missed another one, though, here. I don't quite know what he's doing. But if we can win a, a second frame, I won't complain. There you go. That's dropped. Right. Yellow. Hmm. It would, but I don't think it's the easiest shot on the table. I honestly think the black's probably the easiest out of the colours here. Again, it's a risky one. I don't like playing these shots along the cushion, but it's better than it, better than uh, any other shot on the table, in my opinion, particularly with that miss of the blue earlier on. Although this camera angle isn't very encouraging, and it's certainly not. Good thing is, though, we've been saved because there's no route into that, uh, that into that pocket now because of the black, and it's safe in the bulk. Although Marco Marzotti yet to get off in this frame. We'll go for the long pot here, I think. A bit forceful, but not too much. Hopefully this drops. I have my reservations, but it should be okay. There we go, nice. Ooh, unfortunate we couldn't quite get to the black. Pink should go, though, here. Just got to pay for a bit of care. No, the black doesn't go. Ooh, does the pink though? It's very tight. Top pocket might be the way to go. Can we get into the top pocket? Let's have a look. Go on, go on, go on. Oh, what a pot. Fantastic. Not possessed best in position, but another six points. We're not going to complain. The red near the pink seems an obvious shot here. Yeah, it is tight though, isn't it? We're going to go for it though, as Dennis says, he reckons it's an obvious shot, so it's going to be tight. Oh, it's just off. But does the pink cover it now? I think it does. Oh, I don't, oh, I don't know actually. Yeah, it doesn't actually. So Marco Marzotti finally off in this frame. Good for him. And he's just missed one again. Well... I don't know why I cheer that. We Actually, we can get in with this red. Soft is the way to go. Just about luck with these shots, and that's dropped. Gives us an easy pink. Or the black, which would actually make more sense, just to clear that pocket up. Oh, 
There you go, it's dropped. Not the best position, but we'll take it. No, oh, that black's gone back there. That could, could have been a mistake. Red along the cushion's the only way to go here, which is a shot I've said time and time before I don't like. No, it's not dropped. Gives him another chance to get a point. It's not pressure and strain. I just think it was the best shot we could have gone for then. Sometimes there isn't a possible shot, and arguably the safety's a little bit pointless for the reward you might get for potting it. What's he spotted here? The pink? Well, he's missed that by a country mile. And he's potted the cue ball. Well, I'll let him continue from there. Six points penalised. I'll let him play the tricky shot here. Although he could get a snooker potentially, but he's not going to get a pot, that's all I can say, unless he gets incredibly lucky from just belting it at these four reds. Is that what he's going to do? Oh well, he separated the reds. Oh, and has he snookered us? I knew he would. Ah, git. Luckily we can get out of trouble quite easily here actually. Whether we leave it safe or not is another question, but there we go. That wasn't too bad in the end. I think, well, it's certainly not safe. He can get a pot out of this, but he certainly ain't going to pick up a 40-odd break here, I don't think, from here. Black's on the cards, and he's missed that. He's completely bottled the black. And the obvious shot would be to go for position on the black. On the black. Well, exactly, Dennis. Another point here. I think this should be okay. There you go, red's dropped. Not great on the black, but we'll take it. Looks like he's trying to get the black onto his spot. A little bit harder here, just to make sure we get a good angle on one of the reds. We've really dominated Marco so far, you know. Apart from the start, where we gave him a bit of a lucky break at the start. We've, I don't want to say dominated Marco, but we've certainly played well. Red and a colour, and we take the frame. Right, this is going to be tight. Should be okay though, into the middle. This red and a colour. It's dropped. Ooh, blimey, the cue ball close there. A colour, so it can be the yellow. Yeah, it is tricky. Although the green is fairly straight on, so we might as well take it and we can move these reds a bit. But with this green, which looks a fairly dead cert for a pot, even though it's a long pot, it's a fairly straight one. It's in, and that gives us the frame. We're two nil up. Well, that could just be the frame clincher. Good stuff. Right. It's going to be a tight spot. But this should be okay. Perfect. Brilliant. A nice clean pot. Not the best position, mind, but we'll take the brown. The brown should go back onto its spot after this shot. Play a bit of top spin and try and get it back down the table. At the end of the day here, unless we commit some stupid fouls or get involved in some snookers, we should be okay. And I think we might as well just nestle it up behind the red. I think he'll go for a snooker. It's not necessarily a snooker, but if we nestle it up behind the red, I don't think he's going to get it. Plus, he's not going to get 56 here. And he's let the frame slip away. He's uh, conceded surprisingly, but we're now 2 0 up. And for the last frame of the episode, I think Marco's going to break. A lot quicker there, that frame was, than the first. We had a good safety battle in that first frame. I think it was a bit understated at the time. But a good break from uh, from Marco. Right. Ooh. There's no way of hitting this cluster fin, really. Do we just go for it? I think we do. Could be considered a bonkers shot, but there's no way to get out of this Finley, so an attacking shot's what we can play here, and it very nearly came off well. I think his opponent needed to get the cue ball Very nearly did. That red was very close to the pocket. And he's potted the first, no surprise there. there no he's going to get a bit of a lead now, because there are three or four reds that are, are loose from the cluster. So we're going to have to watch him for a bit, although we're not, because he's missed the pink. I don't know how he's got to this stage, I really don't. He needs to really concentrate on this shot. Hmm, what do we play here? He 
It's a tight pot on this, but I think we can get it. Not ridiculously, please, in terms of the power, but we need some power just to get it to the pocket. There you go. Oh, dear. I think that one wants to go in. It was just too hard, that was. Our concentration going a bit amiss there. And we broke up the pack slightly last time. Blimey, we've helped him massively there by breaking it. And he's missed that one as well. Honestly, I don't know how he's missed that. And if we miss, if we lose this frame from here, we, we should really um, consider... We, could, we, should, we should just end the series, shouldn't we? If we lose this frame from here. But the reds are dotted all around the table now, which means a chance for snooker is a lot higher. Ooh, nearly botted both of the reds there. Certainly wouldn't hurt. Take the blue woody for position. Yeah, it looks about right. Although, again, it's a tricky shot into the mid middle pocket here. But that should go just fine. Nice and soft. Hopefully it doesn't hit off this red. It could, though. There we go. Good good pot. We've got angle on to a red into the middle. It's all about patience here. It's all about patience. Hitting the ball soft, pick, picking up a good break, taking the opportunity, and uh, in the end of the day, going 3 0 up. Well played. Onto the blue again. You know, the, the, there are 20 or 30 points available here just if we keep calm and get good position that are just already available on the table. But we want to make sure we keep in that good position. This is a bit tight, isn't it? Should be okay though. There we go, it's dropped. A little bit too hard, but blue can go into the uh, corner pocket just fine. Should be another five points added here. And there we go, it is. Had to hit that one a little bit harder that time. Didn't want to, but we just had to. And uh, it does set up a little bit, a bit, a little bit of a longer pot, but we'll play with a little bit of screw. Well, I want to play with a bit of screw, not that much. And hopefully, with this increased power, it will drop. The intended target is to get position on the blue. Oh bloody hell! Well, I said we should concentrate and play the ball soft. I didn't listen to myself. Well, that's Although remarkably, he's potted the cue ball. Well, I think this is a lesson for, for me. How far we've come. We were like that one day, and thank goodness we're not now. But I don't think we've played badly enough to say, well, we would, we would be punished by a bit of a better player. We've made one or two mistakes, but on the whole, we've played well so far. <laughs> that was funny, that was. He's one pot and he bottles it. Well... You can laugh because it's the other player, but if it was you, God, he'd be annoyed. But another blue here, another few reds and other colours in the frame, all of a sudden looks uh, starts to look a lot better for us. That red into the middle goes, perfect. The middle pockets are fine if it's straight shots. If, if it's a straight shot, the middle pocket's fine. If it's not, it makes it a lot trickier. This blue should go. Gives us that red that we've wanted to have for a long time, but we've never managed to get on the middle pocket. Get this uh, get this red. Hit it soft. Make sure we get the blue. And then we've got a 39-point cushion. Maybe a bit too hard there, but... Oh, yeah, it was. Is there a way through to... Oh, bloody hell. Well, would you believe that? Would you, Adam and Eve it? Great position on the black. We'll tight the black. And we've got good position on a red. I didn't realise this was the case. Just forgot about the black for a minute. Play with a bit of screw. Get it back on the black. This should be fine. Yeah, it's dropped. It was a little bit hard, but it's dropped. He had to use lots of screw back to try to make position with that shot. Well, exactly, John. We can uh, put it into the packet. Well, put it... Mm, just put it onto the other cushion, actually. Hopefully get a position on a red. Be unfortunate not to. But we've got a big cushion now. A 49-point lead if this black drops, which it has. 
Is the position on a red? I'm not sure. Does that one go? No, it doesn't, does it? No. Does it? No, it certainly doesn't. Uh, right. Unless there's something I'm just not seeing, but I certainly don't fancy any of these. Although we play, unless we play the double, which to be honest, I think at this point we can afford to, so why not for the crack? Although we want to get it away from this area, so we might as well just, well, just not belt it, but hit it quite hard. And that wasn't the best, but knowing Marco, he'll, he'll fail here. As I said, there was nothing Ricky could really do. He's, he's done well to pop that, although he's got no position on anything in particular now. You know, taking yellows is a really good decision, isn't it, when you, when you need this sort of uh, break to get back into a frame. But once again, he's missed it, and we're going to take these opportunities now that, that uh, Marco gives us. And we just want to clean up. Still to get our first 100 plus score. I know it's not class a century, but we can call it a century. Especially when we get it. Another five points should come here with the blue. There we go. Nice. Another red on here. You might want to think about trying to get position on the black. Yeah, position on the black, definitely. Just hit it nice and soft. Perfect. On black. No real position on a red after this, which is unfortunate. Can we play with any top and get... No, we can't really, can we? Unless we, I suppose, get it off the one cushion onto the other. We can experiment here. We've got the, we've got the points gap to do, so... No, it's not... It, to be fair, we've done all right there. I think we have got the position in the end. So it's worth experimenting it. It's just a little bit harder. quite promising. We go, we can hit this red in, nudge the other red, and hopefully get good position on the black. Good. Ooh, not quite though. Blue's a blue's a good enough shot here for me. Get a bit of screw back actually. And then try and hit it into the one of the reds. But once it ooh, this might be a bit off actually. Yeah, I think it is gonna be. Yeah, it is a bit off. But luckily we're safe. And we've got more than enough of a points gap. He's con yep, he's conceded the frame. Well, well, well. What a start this has been for us, you know, folks. We're going to end it there for today's episode. I hope you've enjoyed. A really good start, and I think you can tell in this episode that we've come a long way. We're playing less of the crazy shots. We're getting the bigger breaks, albeit we're not up there yet with brilliant breaks, but we're playing some solid snooker, not playing as many crazy shots, and I think we're definitely progressing in this career mode. But leave a like if you enjoyed, folks, especially... If you like this new slot on a Thursday, leave a comment if you enjoyed as well. And, subs and subscribe. Blimey, I can't get my words out now. I've been commentating for the best part of 50 minutes, but I can't get my words out for the outro. Well, unbelievable. But subscribe for free videos of Snooker a Week and extra sports content. I've been TIJ Gaming. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.